what up, what up, what up, what's good, people? What is up? What is they went from the fourth level of hell and sent us down to the seventh level of hell. Why? Because then you got Kwanzaa pulling out her titties. The whore pulled out her titties. And these whore bags over here started feeling and fondling on her tits. What? I don't have it to do with you. Girl, you can go over there, rant and rave. Girl, you can shake all your rainbow bright hair all you want, dear one. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this with you, dear one. I, 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 I'm not doing this with you, dear one. I don't have nothing to do with you, and I'm done. Baby, you can scream my name from the rooftops from now till Jesus come back. I'm, I'm done after this. Introduced to Tix Meat. <laughs> do you see what I see? Did y'all really let, hello, casting wardrobe. Y'all let him roll up out of wardrobe with these fans on, giving us all of this, thinking we were not gonna see it. We have been waiting with bated breath and anticipating all season long for the slightest glimpse. And y'all just put it out there this episode in all of its magnificent glory. Listen, that young man said, baby, you ain't on this first date, you giving up the cooch on the first date, okay? Well, you gonna run me my coins. Run me my cooch or run me my coins. Run me my cooch or run me my coins. Run me my cooch or run me my coins. That's, that's our new theme song. That is the new song. Listen, somebody need to put a beat to that. Run me my cooch or run me my coins. Run me my cooch or run me my coins. <laughs> this what y'all got going on? <laughs> Call out Sand Castle. <laughs> Sand, bitch. Sand Castle. Sand Oh, my God. It was so funny, girl. Ooh, baby, listen, let me tell you something. This shit started to turn into the precursor for some gay porn. That's what I thought it was. Because Big T is getting all, you know, the voice starting to, um, to go deeper and get a little more wet and moist and sentimental and all this shit. And it was real, real gay at this point. Like, I thought the bitches was going to, I thought Lil Bird was going to throw, um, turn Big T around and do him like he did, um, on Cliff and do the, <laughs> grease it up with City Lou and run, ran right in there. It, it's not a coincidence that Big T started off the conversation by trying to find out if Lil Bird was fucking Mercedes, which he found out he's not. It's not. It's also not a coincidence that he was talking about prison. Why? Because the bitches was probably fucking in prison. Girl. Uncle Cliff, you better go get your man. Uh, Big T got plans for that. Well, he had it on look like something. Uh, Big Bird vomited up or something like that. Like, I did not like it. That Big Bird couture he was going for, it did not work. Like, the pastor of a gay mega church on Easter Sunday. Okay, it was way too much sequins. Yeah, so shout he had way too much makeup. Maybe his face looked like Yana Van Zandt's neckline. Okay, just way too much makeup. Cool, i everywhere on his face. Get it together, we are. Like, you know, you're a big girl, so that gives you a whole lot of canvas, so that was a whole lot of makeup, honey. Yeah. Rico looked like he was auditioning to be one of the three kings, or he was auditioning to be um, the main character on Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> girl, Wayne, did you have on a blue thong or a blue um, G-string or something? If you did, I, I, I want to see Cassie. Yeah. If you have my DMs, I, I do want to see if you have a blue thong or a blue, um, you know, Joshua or something like that. I'd love to see it. Dude. Anyway, but I liked it with the turtle head. Now, Troy. Well, hello, my lovely pupils, my lovelies. How art thou? Hey, Darren. Hey, how y'all doing? We have a late edition of Run Your Mouth today. <laughs> and I have Darren up here who decided to join me and co-host with me today. I'm so excited. I invited him over here to come on my um on my show today hopefully i get an invite over there you know people don't be inviting me no way. child i don't know what you're talking about you literally all over my, <laughs> in my family. i'm just your dare though i'm joking we're gonna have a good time he is we got some shit to talk about today girl mm. <laughs> listen the news cycle in the last 48 hours has been like out of order just completely out of order like the news cycle over the last 48 hours has been out of freaking control okay ciao ciao mm -hmm. yeah. so let me take attendance and say hello to my wonderful lovely pupils hey diamond onyx Diamond Pearl Jim, Yana, Jay Parrish, Tanya, Cross Country Cruiser. Hey, girl. Hey, Jay Parrish. Lovely 31 Blueprint. How are you, beautiful? Volvo. Hey, Cookie. Kelly Hans. How you doing, my love? Lady Bell. How are you today? Yeah. What you say? Um, Diamond Pearl Jim. Too merch. Too mate. Too mate. It's just too mate. <laughs> Girl, you wonder what prison he going to, child. We'll get there in just a minute, child. We will get Rikers. there in just a minute. Never fear. We will get there. 
But so, uh, Derek, any preliminaries you want to say before we get this party started over here? Yeah, girl. Any any, just... any any preliminaries, my love? Anything you want to? Any pleasant you want to say before we delve into the dossier today? I'm just saying the dossier is dossiering. Okay. It is. It is. <laughs> it I, is. I tell you, this the news is coming out. We got people leaving, getting fired. We got people getting Girl. raided. Okay, we got people bringing gunmen in. Okay, to allegedly, <laughs> as we all heard. Girl, like it is. Now the mercury is in retrograde. It is. Tracy even sent me the uh, court documents. For the uh, updated court documents that uh, that Rodney Jones guy, mm. you know, Diddy, it's like a hundred pages, y'all. We got to type it. Ah, however, <laughs> we gonna get through as much as we can. Mm -hmm. We gonna do some TV first. So, um, but yes, we here. Hey, Miss Bay thing, what's good, my love? Hey, Sharice, Sharice, I finally caught you. You off work, girl? It's after five o'clock over there on the West Coast. You off work yet, boo? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I caught you on the drive at five, going home. Miss Bait, I mean, not Miss Bait Thing, Sharice. Miss Bait Thing, too. You out there on the West Coast, too. Y'all off work. Miss Bait Thing is Sharice. Okay, with know. the Rose Court drink. Mm. I'm going to tell you what this is. This is a combination of um, what was left in this bottle. I only got a, a corner <laughs> of my gin of choice, the botanist. Plus, I made me some lemonade with my crystal light. And then on top of that, I poured a little bit of my crayon mango. And it's heavenly. Hey, Symmetry, my love. How are you, boo? Not the pink drink, honey. I mixed that up myself. You know, it's, we it's shifted heavenly. uh sponsors. We're now sponsoring Pure Life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Can I tell y'all, me, Derek, and Medusa are planning a trip. We're not going to tell y'all when till it get close. But I'm already excited about it. We gonna be in one city together. We gonna have a good ass time. We gonna have a good ass time, and we, and we are. Hey, TJ, what's good, boo? TJ, girl, yeah, something. Cherie say she been off since three. She at the gym now, baby. She ain't got time for these people at that at that job. All right, y'all, let's 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 get this party started. Um, let me share my screen again. Hold on. All right. We want the whole screen and nothing but the screen. So help us God. All right, there we go. Mm. Let's let's get these whores out the way. Let's just hurry up and get th these whores out the way. Okay, they had the last episode of the season prior to the season. Um, the uh, reunion will be on Darren Green's next Wednesday for part one of the reunion. Mm -hmm. So we start off with the fight or the aftermath of the fight. Kiana done got her head split open. <laughs> she did. Deborah, our resident Muppet. Deborah done bitter. Deborah, I think she said uh, a, a glass or something got bust across the woman's head. Ain't no glass. That girl teeth. Nah. Okay, that girl gnawed at her. Okay, let's be very clear. It's, oh, Teresa so had to take a bottle out of... um. Out of um Candace's um oh Sharice got in it. No, Sharice took the bottle out of Candace's hand and stopped Candace from busting her in the head with the bottle. Who I don't know why Candace more? cannot fight. Let that woman have that bottle. She need to be able to defend herself. No, because let that muppet let that muppet try her because you yeah, Candace don't be fighting. She... Candace can't fight, so she might as well pick up a bottle, girl. Girl, I don't blame well, her. If it's my understanding, this is Candace's friend. Mm -mm. This is Ashley's friend. That's Satana's friend. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, um, the person that was the Deborah was fighting Candace's friend. Yes, that's Candace, and that is Candace and um uh, Wendy's friend. Oh, okay, Candace okay. met her through Wendy, and that's so, Candace and Wendy. Also, oh, it's Wendy's friend. Okay, so Deborah mm -hmm. went to fight. And why are they beefing again? Because look, I have not been keeping up. You got to keep me abreast. Remember last season mm -hmm. when um Deborah accused Chris of flirting with her. At the bar, and then we found out they rolled back the tape. Chris ain't do a goddamn thing to her, right? Uh, um, and all of that shit. That and so, you know, Candace been dragging her on social media. She said, "Where's all this smoke now?" Let's be clear, all of this shit is Satana's fault. It's all Ashley's fault. Ashley had no business inviting that bitch to this shit, and you know she don't like um Candace at all. 
she do not like Candace. Why would you invite her to this event and you don't invite Candace unless you know? She actually don't care. She don't. The bitch ain't shit. (laughs) The bitch ain't shit. She ain't never been shit. Anyway, um, that happened. They had the little. I'm. You see, I'm fast forward, forward and through the um Mm -hmm. episode because it wasn't too much. Mm -hmm. After that, we had the situation where. They had the magazine um reveal and stuff like that, and um they talked to Candace about it. Candace act like she was so surprised. Hey Montrez, hey Tracy W, hey Cassandra, hey everybody coming in, hey Angela, hey, hey, hey. what's going on? And um they she tried to act like oh what 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 do you mean? I don't know any of this was ha- was happening or going on. Yes, you did, bitch. Bitch, you ain't shit. Um, Ashley, you set the shit up. I told y'all the bitch set the shit up, and you're not gonna make me feel no different. But um, I mean, she was recently on social media talking about like, like, oh yeah, I don't, you know, I don't condone violence. And right. I'm like, girl, shut your ass up. Yeah, you you just- sided with Monique, and you weren't even there when the fight happened. But you over there taking sides with Monique, trifling ass, and writing statements for Monique. And you weren't even in the room when the fight between Monique and Candace happened. But you over there writing statements for Monique. But you don't condone violence. Bitch, you ain't shit. You an ain't shit ass bitch who married a white man who married your master. You became a fucking bed wench. And now he's taking you to the cleaners because you can't get a dime. And you still are uh, massaging his feet every night. You raggedy ass bed wench. Mm-hmm. I said it with the entirety of my chest. And meant it. Hey, Lady Majil. Hey, Paul. And Brent. the amount of forehead in this damn picture. I'm like, damn, Ashley. What's up with your hairdresser? You got hey, you hey, with them. Hey, 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 hey. Ashley don't go to black hairdressers, so that's a problem. Girl, they push, they push your shit back to the bike. Okay, to the Ooh. bike. I put a little too much um alcohol in this. Oh Lord, I re up. Hey, um, K E R Vixen, how you doing, boo? So listen, the bitch ain't shit. The bitch ain't never going to be shit. I don't really want to talk about the episode. The episode was what it was. I want to talk about the other news. How you feel about Candace leaving? Girl, I mean, well, I, I kind of seen it coming. We did see her. You know, she she was being or was being iced out. Mm-hmm. Um, And it it's just the, uh, it was a lot of things going on. A lot of shady politics with, you know, Gizzard and all them. Um. Ultimately, what well, some people was making this alleged, they saying that uh, she she doing this because she's secretly getting divorced with uh with Chris. Where the fuck they get that from? I don't know. I was on Twitter, child. I be on Twitter too much, but I be on Twitter too. And I, you know, my Twitter is always. I'm always on the freak side of Twitter. Listen, mm-hmm. y'all know how I do. Mm-hmm. I'm always on the freak side of Twitter, so it takes a minute for me to get the social media part because I be on freak Twitter, but uh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they said she don't want to put it on. She don't want to put that on TV or nothing like that. So you say so the people said her and Chris Bassett is um splitting up. Well, child, I mean, well, I mean, looking at so that much. damn interview saying she don't want no light skinned babies. I mean, hey. well, then there's that. I mean, you married a whole ass white ass man who got like three chair. How many chair he got already? I think he, he got, got like three or four children already. Bonus children. Who calls the bonus children? Listen. If you don't want light skin um, cheering, you can't have a white peen being shoved into your, um, you know, into your, you know, snack. I did not know who hey, Amber. He, is. he 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 seems, and I'm about to sound. This is about to sound, he seems a Negro. Like I don't like you got other te- you got kids elsewhere. <laughs> what? No, I don't. Gonna, I, listen, <laughs> the fact that I'm going to integrate that into the vernacular tells you all that I need. You need to know he seems Negro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Girl. god, Darren, I can't stand you. <laughs> or at the very least, mixed. Okay. <laughs> he got a, something in him, child. Oh, yes. Yesterday was Amber's birthday, y'all. Let's put some shallows in the chat for Amber. Yesterday was her birthday. Happy birthday, Amber. I th- I don't know if, if I even saw you in the chat yesterday, Amber. Um, but if I didn't and I missed it, I'm sorry, Amber. Yesterday was Amber's birthday, y'all. Y'all help Amber. Um Celebrate her birthday. Put a Shondo in the chat for her because we love Amber, Amber around these parts. Let me get a little so then, Okay. So you said the, the T is she really leaving? 
because well, I mean I don't know if it's trying to, queen, uh, but it's, what, but it's, no this is what the people saying the oh, people okay. are saying that she really leaving because she's trying to you know separate or divorce or get away from Chris Bassett I mean the man ain't really got a good job I mean he I mean I guess for the for the type of lifestyle that Candace wants to have you being the the manager at a restaurant may not be what she you know is looking for girl i'm just being honest and candace comes from money so you better hope you don't try to get that money I, i'm just saying i'm just saying i mean did we found out uh what's the name robert is leaving too yeah we fi- no that bitch got fired she ain't leaving that bitch got fired they saying she got fired mm-hmm the bitch should have been fired three seasons ago, but that's a whole different story. The bitch got fired. Damn, hun, damn. So we don't, we don't care, Robin. We don't care. Now you're in a. That's what what the boys gonna do? Cause the boys ain't got. There's no income in. You know, there's no income in that whole household. So now we're relying on her hat sales over on embellished, or <laughs> the podcast with with Giselle mm-hmm. mind you your podcast ratings were based on the ratings of you being on Bravo and the br- ratings for Real Housewives is down so you mean to tell me that I'm supposed to suspect that the ratings for your podcast is up they gonna and get that's hoo-hoo. Su- and that's supposed to sustain you and you're supposed to be opening up this whole franchise and anytime you open up a new business anybody will tell you the first five years you're not gonna make it uh, uh, no income First five years of opening a new business, don't expect any profit. They ain't gonna get Giselle ain't leaving child. Giselle is the king of of housewives of Potomac. Okay. Giselle don't have a job nowhere in America. It has nothing to do in life. So if she gets fired from Potomac, Giselle old, will be devastated. Not she will be devastated. <laughs> devastated. She don't have anything. She is. I don't even know if she has a skill set that would transfer to any other job. What is she going to do with her life? Think about if Giselle gets fired from Potomac today. What the fuck is she going to do? She I mean, was that, married that could, to, said, that could be said about everybody else, maybe except for Wendy. Like, none of these like girls. Wendy is good. Yeah. Allegedly, NECA says she's an attorney, even though we've never seen her practicing. I said from the first episode she she got there. I said, did she pass the bar in the in whatever state she's in, be it Virginia, Maryland, or the District of Columbia? I don't know, but she claims she's an attorney, and her husband is a doctor. So Girl, she can live on her husband, Nika. and she'll be fine. Do not trust Nika, okay, at all. Uh, Mia, what the fuck is she gonna do? Because Ink or whoever it is that's plowing her guts right now, we don't even know him. So clearly he ain't making that much, and we don't even know. Me ain't gonna be good. She'll go right back on them streets. Ashley Darby, we know she's hanging on to Beelzebub, (laughs) Michael Darby, by the hairs of her chinny chin chin. Oh, she'll got them, she'll get them child support checks. Mm-hmm. If Michael, no, I feel like Michael Darby would do some shit like this. No, I want full custody of my children, and then mm-hmm. just hire a nanny. Damn, then she'd be done. She'll and, be- yeah, right. She'll be back under the bridge with her mama, trying to knock on doors and collect money. <laughs> <laughs> with her mama, Sheila, the bearded lady. Ain't her mama named Sheila? Oh, not. Nah, I she- think her I, mama I, named I, Sheila, I know her the mama. bearded lady, as we like to call her. Not the bearded lady, honey. I mean, and Karen, goddamn, like, what she got? Uh, candles? Or, or... Karen got a whole got to deal with the fact that she got a whole DUI, DWI. The bitch, why does she still have a driver's license anywhere in these yet to be United States of America? Gray pubes, gray pubes. <laughs> no, they really, they really had a car backing up into into some traffic, and getting hit. They said, oh my they God, said they fine. found bottles of wine in her car. <laughs> they said one of the bottles was Stella Rosa. I, I swear, I saw that somewhere. Listen, who drinks Stella Rosa? Not Stella Rosa, girl. You might as well be drinking Capriccio. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Capri, at least Capriccio got 
some alcohol content. I think Stella Rosa is like two percent alcohol. So she must have you been drinking like more, listen. The the water in Flint, Michigan gets you a high a better buzz mm-hmm. than Stella Rosa, okay? <laughs> Girl should have had that stutter home. What they call <laughs> stutter home? <laughs> stutter home wine. You can get you a good bottle for five dollars. <laughs> you can get you a bottle of stutter home wine for five dollars. So <laughs> But and my thing is down. this: in the serious part about this conversation, you could have killed somebody, and you over here still talking about some. She killed oh, that damn tree. I'm she killed that damn law. tree over there. Now she killed the damn tree. <laughs> she did. Shout out to all of the trees across America. That should be her penance to go and plant trees all across America for killing that damn tree. She told the police officer to turn his body camera off. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could even tell a police officer to do that. Not that you can get set at home down to the dollar. Tree. Dollar dirt. <laughs> Shut up. No, you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they sell set at home down to Dollar General. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, she's listen. She's going to be the next spokesperson for Arbor Day, Tracy. Don't worry. She's your next spokesperson for National Arbor Day. That is that is her penance. She's going to have to be the spokesperson for Arbor Day, Karen Huger. Because I'm telling you, the water down to Flint, Michigan, and Jackson, Mississippi are more potent than the goddamn Stella Rosa. Let's be clear. I get a better buzz from Jackson, Mississippi, or Flint, Michigan, if you need me. Mm. Just a myth. Um, so yes, we got Karen Huger, who's a whole ass alcoholic. A whole ass. I'm alcoholic. telling you, the next season, I'm and, and Giselle girl, she's probably gonna try to get Karen into some AA or some or some type of mm. intervention. We need to help you, girl. Like, what's going on? I can just see it right Arbor now. Arbor Day is on your birthday, Tracy. You know, that's my ex birthday. Hmm. Ooh. April 26th. I'm going to call him DeBay. I'm going to call him. But listen, Karen. Not Deborah. <laughs> no, not Deborah. DeBay. <laughs> God. Anyway, but um, yeah. Mm. Oh, wait. Kelly Hahn says you can get um, Sutter home at Dollar General. Wow. And what state? A dollar, wait a minute. It's a Dollar General right here by my house. No, it must be statewide. Like, or not statewide. I've never like, seen no Sutter home at the Dollar General by my house. When yeah, I'm always at the Dollar General. General. Dollar General is the yellow one, right? Yes. The, yeah. Because Dollar Tree is green and Family Dollar is red. Okay. Oh, you had to make that term. Like a child. I had to, you, I just know the colors. The green one, the red one, and the um yellow one. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. It must be oh child, Nika, Nika. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we are way, way. We ain't even got good into our uh, stories for the day. We already having too good of a good time. Let me let me have a drink today. Hey, Tawanda Robinson. Mm. To Wanda Robinson say it's that family dollar too if you need it. If you need Sutter home, it's that family dollar too. I see, it must be some when he, where y'all where Listen, y'all live in. Sutter home will get you a good buzz. Y'all y'all play around with Sutter Home. Let me tell you something. Sutter Don't Home get will get Sutter you Sutter Home red blend. It'll get you right. It'll get you right. I don't mess with no Sutter Home. That make my stomach hurt. It don't make my stomach hurt. I I, mm-hmm. I done drink a whole bottle, took it to the head. Oh hell no. Nah. But I'm an alcohol. But people call me an alcoholic. That's okay. Ooh, okay, Karen. Right. I'm I'm Karen. See, Karen, unlike you, I know my limits. And so when I get to two buzz, you know what I do? Call the Uber. The Uber. The Uber. Okay. And Definitely. then I found out there's a new app that you can call if you get too drunk. Well, th- somebody will come out and drive your car to your house for you. Wow, that's there's an app that will literally have somebody come to where you are, drive you drive you home in your car, and then they'll go. See, that's problematic though. I don't know. 
Now, if I get a cute driver, mm. I'm gonna say, You don't want to come inside? Now, Teddy. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, do we have anything else for these boys? Do we have anything else for these pot of Mac holes? I don't. I don't. And um, Mia, count your fucking days. Because we know you're a liar, Mia. Count your days. <laughs> If you're so if if that was if that last 15 minutes of the episode was your attempt to try and take the crown for this episode, the episode is um the the series is not in for a good ride. Mm. Mm. We we don't believe you, Mia. They, we don't I, feel like I see a parallel. Her situation with Gordon is the same situation with Portia and Gabadia. Ciao. Portia and Gobbledygook. <laughs> J. Parrish said he like me. He go by colors. I t- J. Parrish say J. Parrish say I tell my kids take me to the red, yellow, or green. Red, yellow, or green dollars. No. Or Tracy say the Google say the Google say the according to the I think I have something for here it is. No. Tracy said the Google say um Dollar General sells Sutter home. Yeah. yeah. I gotta look at my Dollar General because look, I'm in Jersey. Jersey, we, I, I think because we, we real strict on liquor and stuff like that. I don't know. I ain't never seen no damn low wine in no Dollar I ain't never seen wine at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Or it would not be in no damn Dollar Tree. But I, I don't. But to be honest, to be fair, I don't go to those places looking for alcohol. I will be honest and say, there's normally a liquor store within a half mile radius of any Dollar General or Dollar Tree or Family Dollar that I go to. I'll mm-hmm. be honest, but I'm just saying. I really thought you was about to say, oh, I don't frequent those stores. I'm like, okay, dude. Oh, I do go there because sometimes you might go there and get cheaper for the cleaning products. You oh, know yes. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get you you can go good... to a good dollar store and they have the name brand cleaning products. Yeah, okay, get you cheaper. some scrubbing bubble, get you some Ajax. Mm-hmm. Okay. But cheaper than the other places. So I ain't going to even lie and act like I'm that bougie that I don't go to the dollar store. Mm-mm, I go there sometimes. Child, I products. use Ajax dish detergent. That, that smells good as hell. I don't care how cheap it is. Now, dish detergent. What did I use? I use um Dawn. I use Dawn. All my dish detergent. Dawn is is too, Dawn. It, it, it leaves too much of a like a residue. I'll be tasting it on the on the food. Like you know when you when you wash something like with Dawn, you gotta like really wash it, wash it out. Like because because that soap residue will still be on there. I mean, I but even after that, when before I get a plate, I kind of rinse the plate off. Um, well, thank you, Tawanda. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Kelly Hart says, the game, too. Game. So that Dollar Tree, wait a minute, wait a minute, Kelly Hart, wait a minute, hold the goddamn horses, hold your goddamn horses. They are not selling Mad Dog 2020, not MD 2020, not the Mad no, Dog 2020, down to the goddamn Dollar Tree. Kelly Hart, you lie, you, you gotta lie. be lying because next thing you go tell me they sell it old English too. Not old English. Because Mad Dog 2020 is what your granddaddy drink. Every grandfather across America drank some MD 2020. And some old English. Go ask any grandfather across the fruited plains if they black. If they done had some Mad Dog 2020, some MD 2020. <laughs> Or some goddamn old English, because that's old man drink. I'm just or some um Schlitz malt liquor, <laughs> Schlitz malt liquor bowl. Not you know the names like Colt Forty Five Schlitz malt liquor bowl. I just need y'all to put in the chat all of the old school beers and <laughs> and liquors. Anything that's old school beer and liquor, put the shit in the chat. I'm just What's saying. that one that being like a? It's like a big glass, and it got. Mm, I think it's called Bolt or Colt something. Colt Forty Five. Yo, I used to drink that when I was in college, when my freshman <laughs> year. <you know? laughs> 
You well, you know when you're in college, you gotta get whatever you can. Whatever it is. Don't come for me, but no, they they taste good. good. They taste good. MGD, Cisco, E and J, Irk and Jerk listen. Easy's Jesus, Irk and Jerk. If you ain't let me tell you something, if you ain't never drank Irk and Jerk. You ain't never been to college and you ain't never lived because that's that cheap shit. That's that shit. You could get you a whole half gallon for $10. I'm just saying. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Because the, the Colt 45, let me tell you something. That goes good with wings. <laughs> get you some wings and, and, and I mean just and regular wings. be lemon pepper and all flats and don't charge me extra for getting all flats. That combination when I tell oh yeah oh yeah no no see go to the wild Irish rose that's another granddaddy drink wild Irish rose MD twenty twenty and wild Irish rose yeah that's that's your granddaddy Tracy drink. why you laughing <laughs> see I already knew Tracy was gonna come for me now mm-hmm. TJ not the Parmesan honey new no, honey that was my Parmesan first. yep that was Heaven my Hill first. I ain't never even heard of Heaven honey. Hill Fred J. I don't even know what that is. Hill E and J, I can't do. <laughs> that's college. That's that. Now that is college. I can't do E and J. I can't do Parmesan. Like no, I'm none of them. Bartles and James, you got to go back to the eighties. They used to have commercials for Bartles and James. Wild Turkey, yes, Kelly Hart. You Wild better come Turkey. out with it. I know what Wild Turkey is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bartles and James. That's what old white men drink. That's what you got an old white drunk ass granddaddy. Has he drink <laughs> Bartles and James? Wait, two buck Chuck. I don't even want to know what two buck Chuck is. Wait, y'all ever gotten the pinnacle? I I have had pinnacle before. Did I like it? That's a whole different story. Did you get pinnacle whip? Okay, I that, did that's not. that's the whipped cream. It tastes mm-hmm. like whipped cream. Mm-hmm. You know, pinnacle have a whole lot of different flavors. Pinnacle vodka have like 89 different flavors. Like, like they got every flavor known to man. I ain't never had the whipped cream flavor. Get the pinnacle whip. I'm telling you right now, you sneak up on you, but it tastes good as hell. Now, when you were in college, there did you do the little shots when you sitting in the chair before the game? This is how we used to pregame for our football game. You sit on, on the stool, you lean your head back, you open your mouth, and they just pour a bunch of shit in your mouth, and they call it a certain mm-hmm. shot. Like we had apple pie shots, s'mores Absolutely. shots, peanut butter jelly shots, um, um, Jolly Rancher shots. And they would just pour like a couple of different liquors and then a flavor You're supposed to close your mouth, shake your mu- shake your head, and it tastes just like what they said. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Like if it was an apple pie shot, they would pour like, you know, apple schnapps and vodka and gin and then put cinnamon and whipped cream. And you shake your head, you close How your did mouth. Y'all survive. Easily. We were about that life back then. Shit. <laughs> I said the most I did peppermint was, patty um a shot when you use the peppermint schnapps and you would they would do the chocolate uh they would do Hershey chocolate with the peppermint schnapps and some whipped cream you close your mouth they would put all that in your mouth and you close your mouth and you shake your head and it tastes just like what they said no you ain't never did no we never did. no Y'all ain't Listen, most I, I did was brother. get crossfaded okay that means when you're drinking and you smoke weed at the same time you had that you, child i was able to hear everything that was outside like <laughs> the tranquil i, I heard because we had a stream in the back of the dorm so i heard the stream uh-huh. and everything child but no i, I ain't never did all that now oh good we can we can move on to these yeah, let, let's move on to these whores well i'm not gonna call all of them whores you know you oh, know some man. of them Listen, i watched last season mm-hmm. i'm two seasons in i'm two seasons in what, what's what's I forgot his name again, child? Because you know, you have, I haven't seen him in so long. But you, but I know, but you know who I'm talking about. Who? Oh. You know who I'm talking about. The fine one. The fine one. Amir. Mm, yeah. Who got the white girlfriend now? And I want to smack him because of that. Oh, because you know what? Crazy. And Jordan, right. Jordan, you bum, you fumbled the bag. Okay. Aaron was throwing Jordan, it, was giving it up. Like and, and here's the here's the deal, Jordan. I'm okay if you say you don't want to get with him. However, you were supposed to get that dick, bitch, Jordan. Yes. You were supposed to do like Summer. Like Summer understood the assignment. Summer. We ain't going to be together, but I guarantee you I'm going to get this dick. Let me show y'all a picture of Jordan so y'all can understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about. Hold on, let me. Put this good picture up. Hold on. Let me mm. see if I 
get y'all a good picture. Get a good picture of Jordan. Where is that? There go Jordan. Ooh. There he go. Come on, if you palate, need him, palate cleanser. You talk about palate cleanser. Mama didn't understand the motherfucker discernment. Like Jordan I don't give a shit. The hell. And then now he with this girl. He talk about some. Oh yeah, my, my girl ain't gonna let me do that. I'm like, why? Right. Because he letting this white girl, you know, hoard all over him and oppress him, and you know, you know, act like she's you know master's wife, and he's just the the the, the good old good boy coming up from the slave quarters to beat her boxing or some shit. Yes, Chef. Girl. Yes, yes. Girl, uh, Jordan, Jordan, okay, Jordan. When I you were supposed to get all of that goodness, honey. she fumbled the bag trying to be. Oh, I don't want to be. I'm like, girl, okay, you could be single, but like mingle. Girl, you were supposed to get that dick, honey. Because just this, you were supposed to get that. Let me tell you, something. you see that, all of that right there, bitch. Right, right, right. Just a glimmer of hope. If they would have had a scene on there, and we would have seen some, some, you know, a little bit of ass or something, something from this dude. We ain't get nothing. We definitely show me something. Girl, I mean, honestly, girl, truly, Jordan, girl. Now, Jordan is a very sexy, attractive young lady. That's a fine black lady. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, girl, that's a fine black man. I ain't said you had to be with him, but, girl, you was at least supposed to get the dick and tell your friends the story. You know how some men find as fuck, and you you just get the dick so you can go tell your friends, girl, let me tell you, girl, I just, I'm on my way home from getting that dick. Girl, let me tell you how hey, you Harold, was, Harold, Harold, what do you mean? I don't, I, I think that, what do you mean you think it was a show? Oh, he wanted Jordan. Harold, did you watch last season? I mean, no, I'm, a, I'm not asking in that sense. I'm asking in that sense. Okay. I oh, 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 here. Oh, you said Harold said the deal is part of the Ray. He got I key card membership. Is he said Jordan got key card membership to the Rainbow Coalition compound? I mean, he said, it, are, we got, safe, are we in a safe space? Oh, we're in a safe space always. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it definitely, you know, maybe it's just my imagination, but you know, y'all let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Are we saying? Listen, because I'll go over there and get that and tell y'all the story. Listen, that'll be a members only lie. I don't think I'll give y'all all the man. details in a members only lie, bitch. He's with a whole white girl right now. Yeah. I mean, okay, he could he could be eclectic. You know, y'all yeah. know how I feel about the people. We'll just call who, him eclectic. Uh, child, you know, when I saw that he was with this white girl. You know, my whole body just skin crawled. crawled. And then the girl wasn't even that cute. She didn't even, girl, I, I just like, girl. I can see if it was some Megan Fox. Um, and then he over here talking, oh, yeah, because if I even look at somebody else or talk to somebody else, she going she gonna to have me hung upside down and try to and, and try to cut my penis. I'm looking like. I'm like, nigga, get out. You are in the sunken yeah. place. What? You are in the sunken place. For real. And I'm mad because I'm just like, girl. But you know, I'm not. I'm not all the way mad with this because I'm so glad Silas is not going to be there. Thank I'm God. Glad. It's two things um, I'm glad about. I'm glad yeah. Silas isn't there. One. I like Noel. I'm. Let me tell you why I like Noel. Who's Noel? Hey, Renee, Renee. Thank you for becoming a new member. Boo. What's going on? Let me tell you why I like Noel. Noel, out of all of the girls, is the only girl who gives me. You was raised in blackness. Wait, who's 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 that again? That's the new girl, the light skin, uh, oh, the light skin, the new girl, new girl, new girl from Atlanta. From Atlanta. She's the only because the she's, rest of the girl. Let me, if I'm, a, let me just be honest. I'm gonna just call a thing a thing. These girls over here on Summer House, they give me. They weren't raised around a traditional black experience, and they cosplay black through social media and all of the things that they see through social media. So they try to say the right things, do the right things or portray the right thing. But it just seems inauthentic to me. And how I knew Noelle was a real girl. Cause when she said, cause I needs to know 
Do y'all eat sugar in y'all grits or do you eat salt and pepper? Because I need to differentiate who is who because we don't trust anybody who eats sugar in their grits. I'm just being honest. Absolutely. That's, that's just like people saying that when I put my toilet paper on the toilet ream, that I'd go under instead of over. I don't trust. If I go to your house and your toilet paper goes under instead of over, I don't trust you anymore as a person. And I'm never going to tell you, but just know you've been judged, thoroughly adjudicated, and I'm looking at you. Yeah. In that sense, I, I, I'm like a verse. You know, it, it, you're whoever. a verse with the toilet paper? Uh, I'm not verse on my toilet paper. My toilet paper better be over, not under. It's some, it's how and if you do sugar in your grits, you are MAGA. I don't trust you. I'm MAGA, honey. Not MAGA. You are MAGA to me. I'm sorry. But see, my thing is this. Okay, now you gonna have to take down a, a mirror for a second because I'm, I'm getting I'm distracted. Now, um, <laughs> why I got to take him down? He's so fan. Yeah, I need to get the to people the like him. I'm gonna let the people. If you want me to take a mirror down, put a 27 in the chat. If you don't want me to put a mirror down, put a one in the chat. Hey, Abby. Hey, Madrill. Who, Abby? Hey, if you want me to take a mirror down, just put a 27 in the chat and I'll take him down. Ciao, because he's a little bit too distracted. I got to get we got to get into the other things. OK, okay. so um, I'm going to let you go first. Yeah. So my whole thing is, yes, thank goodness the solace is not there. You know, I mean, he was deployed. Um, I don't die. You know, I, I, I don't I don't like you, but I don't dislike you that much. Um, Just. Have, have safe travels but i'm just glad you're not here now yeah i'm not feeling jasmine and and jordan the whole situation like i i, I just girl you gonna sit like I, we understand that there's like a rift between a friendship but like girl like you you want you trying to act like you don't know so now, let I'm, me ask you are you team jordan or are you team jasmine i'm team jordan i'm team jordan too Bec and here's why I don't even have a problem with Jasmine, but my thing is this. Jasmine, you have to understand, you're the only one here that's married. You're the only one here that's married. So you can't, the people already think that you can't do everything that they can do. Your husband, and not only are you married, but you're married to a husband that wants to, you know, you know, uh, male hierarchy, traditional marriage type back in the 50s, leave it to beaver type shit. Well, you just at home taking care of the house type shit. That's the kind of shit your husband on. So I why would they I think why would they think that you would be, be able to go out and hang out with them and have a good time? They're trying to help you because your husband, you know, you whacked out on you last summer. Because they was all in the house and trying to have fun. So why would they think like after we're not in the house and y'all back at home that you're supposed to just be able to come out and do all of the things that they're doing? No, I don't them for now. not inviting you. Because they don't want you to have no smoke in your own house. Now, Teddy, here's my thing, though, because I don't know if I'm wrong or right. But in the beginning of when she when Jasmine came in, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They scribbled out her last name. Because, see, at first, I know the silence. No, silence. they scribbled out Silas. It said uh, Jasmine okay. and Silas. Okay, okay, and they scribbled okay. out Silas. Because, see, I thought you know, Silas asked what be there. What's going to be there. But, see, I thought it was, like, her whole name. And I'm like, why would they scribble out her name? Is something going on? Mm -mm, no, they I scribbled out. It was Silas. They mm -hmm. it, it said Jasmine and Silas. And they scribbled out Silas to let you know, yeah, his monkey ass ain't the fuck coming. He ain't going to be there. He got deployed. <laughs> well, I mean, it... We'll see better days. Anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you. How you feel about Alex? Well, listen, his annoying ass. Let what me say you? this. Let me say this. Uh, I, at some point in my life, want to be able to do like Summer did and say, let me get the quote right. I just want the quote mm -mm, right. Hold mm -mm. on. You didn't invite the person you've been inside of. I just <laughs> my whole thing with summer though. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, go the ahead. Go ahead. That, the fact, I just just being able to say you didn't invite the first the person that you've been inside of. 
because she started off you didn't invite the person that you've been for that lives in new york and you didn't invite the person that you've been inside of and everybody at the table was taking a drink everybody was like oh <laughs> like everybody was mortified like that Girl. for you to describe it that way like the person you've been inside of like it was no <laughs> there was no discrepancy there was no mixing it out it was like yeah he fucked me y'all he fucked my guts he was inside my pussy he rearranged my internal organs girl he was inside of me girl hmm. I, I'm, I'm glad that Ebby is in the room to teach the people about now see when you put cheese in the grits don't you do not trust you people who put cheese on i mean not cheese but who put sugar on your grits we don't trust you people and and now let me just add this let me just add this when you put cheese in your grits it cannot be cheddar what kind of cheese do you put i don't have a problem with cheddar american mozzarella I'm not putting American on nothing. I don't eat American cheese for anything. Well, no, not, if not, you not, ever okay, offer not me American cheese, cheese or anything, mozzarella. I'm going to spit on you. Mozzarella, mozzarella, okay? Okay, I can get with you with mozzarella. I can get but no cheddar, no cheddar. I like cheddar cheese in my grits. No, it, it, it takes the power away from the grits. Now, now I'm tasting cheddar. No, that's if you get the sharp cheddar instead of the mild cheddar. Do mild Girl, cheddar. all cheddar is grits. sharp. No, not all cheddar is sharp. Sharp cheddar is absolutely sharp. Mild cheddar is absolutely mild. Okay. I don't usually do cheese in my grits anyway. I just need butter, salt, and pepper, and that's it. I'm just well, saying. Also, ain't nothing wrong with American cheese, though. Don't come from American cheese. Okay. I don't, don't eat do American it. cheese with anything. That shit is nasty. The shit is garbage. Don't garbage. Don't. Not garbage. <laughs> not garbage. Garbage. Not American ain't real. We ain't talking about government it's not cheese. Real cheese. Exactly. We're not talking about government cheese. That's mm. what y'all that's what y'all thinking. I love government cheese. Oh, government no. cheese is good. You will never have a better grilled cheese sandwich than you have had when you've had it with a government cheese. Let's be clear. I'm logging off. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The best grilled cheese sandwich in the world. Hey, YB, what's good, boo? Is with government cheese. Government cheese to make the best grilled cheese sandwich you will ever have in your life. But American cheese is not government cheese. Honey, government I use Sargento. And first American of all. cheese are two different things, okay? Honey, honey, we big Sargento over here. Sargento cheese. I don't do that government stuff. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not. I, I was poor enough to have government cheese. It's... Well, you got it in that whole block. You would get this block Ooh. of government cheese that you had to slice on your own. Listen. If you ain't had a grilled cheese sandwich with some uh, uh, with the uh, welfare butter and the welfare cheese, listen, you ain't live. That is some of the best grilled cheese sandwich that you will have in the entirety of your life. Please be clear. You've never had it, Darren. Darren, let Darren. Darren no, Darren. I had I had government cheese before. Let's but I'm saying, clear. have you had it with your grilled cheese sandwich? I imagine so. I don't remember, but I I remember having. I remember us oh, having government cheese at one point. Life. Now, first of all, we're not using government cheese. For, first of all, the cheese. Now, in the case of grilled cheese, I would use cheddar. Yes, it would have to definitely be a yellow cheese. Um, I don't know what you're doing over there. I, I heard government cheese don't even melt. It does. Who told you that? Nah, it ain't used Who to melt. told you nah. government cheese doesn't melt? It absolutely okay. Because when I grew up, it came in the little baggies, the little bag slices. I, I don't know. Oh no, 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 no. That was some different shit. When I grew up, the government cheese came in a block. Ain't mm. want no slices, baby. You had you got a block, and you had to slice your own shit. Now, please be clear. I came up in the day of paper food stamps too. Before that was the EBT card. Maybe we had paper food stamps. So that was a long time ago. I'm just saying. But that government cheese, and you, what you did was you didn't put it in the oven. You put it in the broiler that was underneath the regular oven part. So you had the, rec you had the stove on the top. You had the oven. But then you had the little drawer underneath that was for the, that was the broiler. And you put it under there, the little cheese, you know, the, mm -hmm. for your grilled cheese. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. oh yes, God. Oh 
You yes, put a little bacon. God. You put a little bacon in your uh, grilled cheese. So add a little. Add a no, little. I don't add nothing to my grilled cheese. I just maybe I, a little piece of ham. I might yeah, add a little, like piece, a little of piece of ham. ham. Mm, I might. A, I might. A thin, thin, thin cut. Mm-hmm. Abby says government cheese is a block. What you're describing is cheap American cheese. Mm-hmm. But that government okay, cheese. Hold on, let me look it up. Because first of all, no, because they got government cheeses in them little bags. Hold on. No, they don't see. got no government cheese in no bag and no slices. <laughs> it, it comes in a block. I'm talking about you now with it on your own. See, okay, hold on. Let me let me look it up. Because first of all, I definitely hold on. The people will tell you. Listen, there it was un. Defeated, baby. You chop up that government cheese. You slice that government cheese. Now you had to have a good knife too. You had to have a good butcher knife. You couldn't have no play play knife. You weren't gonna cut no government cheese. No damn butter knife. No play play knife. You had to have a good knife to cut the goddamn government cheese because that shit came in a hard block. And you had to use some elbow grease. You know what I mean? Mm. You had to use some elbow grease to that government cheese. I'm trying to tell you, but it would change your life. I'm trying to tell you. They said, nah, it ain't no government cheese anymore. It, it never came in slices. What? Right, yeah, government cheese never came in slices. It always came in a block. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm, like, I'm, they used to like, they used to have government... Uh, when you got the welfare, they used to have the peanut butter in the can. And when I say in the can, in a can like a can of corn, where you needed the can open to, op- to open the uh, peanut butter. Mm-hmm. What time? Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> sure did. Girl. Um, anyway, back to back to Summer House because we, we what, done... summer, what I was saying about Summer House outside of Noel, most of the girls on there you could tell they not they didn't come from. I'm not gonna. I, I, I'm not saying they didn't come from traditional black households because I'm not saying that at all. She, they did come from black households, but they didn't come from what sometimes they try to project mm-hmm. and you could tell it seems pretentious like look these are some bougie, like these some bougie sound black like what i see on tiktok when the white girls try to assimilate to black vernacular and black phrases and all of that stuff that's exactly what they sound like to me i'm, I'm like the first that. couple seasons of dear white people like because you know them, them them blacks was too progressive honey <laughs> it was like you can't say that. Like, okay. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, with the whole okay, fist in the air, like, yeah, very progressive. Look, here's the thing. These are some bougie black folks. Okay. And they I, are. And I have, I don't have a problem with bougie black folks unless you all try to look down on people. That's you know, I, I kind of feel that way about the dude in the glasses sometimes. But Who, Nick? Uh, no, the dude in the glasses, that one. Yeah, Nick. Nick is Nick. the one with the glasses. Oh, you God. can't tell me Nick don't have key card um um access to the Rainbow Coalition. Wait, who that other guy then? Nick is uh wait, hold on. Nick is this one right here. And who the other guy? The other guy in the beard. Standing That's up. Alec. Alex. Alex. Okay, yeah, I got them mixed up. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Nick, he the one he he be looking down on some people, but I, I don't Nick mind. Nick to me is is a part of the Rainbow Coalition. You're not going to make me feel no other Oh, man. really? I, I you're not going to I you cannot make I, my 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 dar my dar goes off whenever he comes on screen and my dar is undefeated he may mm. not admit it on television and i feel like what i feel like is the problem with these people is um is the fact that most of them put on because they know they're on camera so they try they're very they come off very pretentious they come off as if they're trying to put on or put on this show for the camera or act a certain way for the camera but that's really not them hmm. yeah I, he rubbed me the wrong way everybody in the chat says nick gives them uh that he has key card admission to the rainbow coalition too not key card honey nothing i mean i, I know Abby. That. the girlfriend came last season. she came at the last episode i think of last season and they always showing pictures of them and she's supposed to be back this season toward the end okay but i well. have a question to the chat though like okay can a man be sassy or appear a little bit effeminate and still be straight like mm-hmm. Okay, yes. so that's probably what he is. Like he is a little no, snooty and I a can little tell the difference. I can tell the difference okay. between a metrosexual and somebody who has key card access. Bro has key card access. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
He is. He's down I mean, here if we being forward. honest, though, oh, if we really being honest, don't they all, except for Silas? Alex don't give me that. Alex don't give me that he has key card I mean, access. To a Amir don't yeah. either. Amir gives me that quintessential black boy that wasn't raised around black people that only wants to date white girls because I had I I even last season I had no no feeling that he really wanted any parts of Jordan mm -hmm. or that Jordan was going to want any parts of him because he did not know anything about the black experience at all. And I could tell he wanted no parts of a black girl for real. He he don't he don't even know how to handle a black woman. Let's just be clear. I don't know. Nick tries too hard with the women to prove that he's straight. Mm, ooh, ooh. He does. Yeah, like remember that picture that they was taking? He took it with um with two of them girls, and it just looked so yeah forward. with Summer and I think it was was it Jordan? Yeah, and like he was like grabbing on. So I was like, I was like, mm -hmm. all right. I guess. I thought you got a girlfriend. What you uh, hugging up on them folks? Can I also say that Bria was the first one to get to the house immediately, even before anybody got that she was already on my nerves. I didn't like Bria last season. I Bria. already know I'm not going to like Bria this season. The bitch gets under my skin. Who that other reason. girl that be taking off her clothes? Like She was literally in the phone the whole episode and then she crying in the next No, that's Shanice. Yeah, Wait, her no. ass, and then she want to sit there and cry next episode. Talk about something. I ain't got no clothes. That's what I'm wearing with a girl. I ain't got no but money to get clothes. Bria and that damn dog got on my nerves last season. Mm. She's already on my nerves this season. I want no part. I I I know I can't have a whole two week vacation with Bria. I just can't. I I I absolutely cannot. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, she had that little out, outburst with Preston. How you feel about Preston this season? Preston, Preston was probably right for going off on that, <laughs> on that bitch. I'm just being honest, cause she be doing too much. And I was, and even even um, Amir said something about it. Like, wait a minute, this bitch just storms off and goes off on people, and then just gets to come back and say. Oh, I'm sorry. That shit got on my nerves last season. The shit on my nerves this season. I don't like that bitch. The bitch ain't shit. She's a big forehead ass motherfucker. Get her back blown out by some white man that's going to pay all her bills. Stay your ass over in mm -hmm. Europe with him. Don't bring your ass over here with us. My whole like thing you. with Preston, though, my whole thing with Preston, though, I don't know how y'all going to feel about this. You, you, you didn't go to your father's funeral because of this show? I, and I understand I he said that they that him and his sisters were uninvited. They were uninvited, but at the end of the day, if that's a parent, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna find a way. But, I'm they, ask around. but they, but they haven't had, they ain't had that kind of close relationship so either. To, you think, you think, because he didn't bring it up, but like, do you think they had like a strange relationship because of you? I know think when? he said that he hadn't really seen his father since like middle school, and then when his father did try to come around. <laughs> Excuse me. He said that he was like, "Nah, bro, I ain't here for this." Who said, "Nah, bro, like, I ain't here for this"? Yeah, he was like, "Nah, bro, I ain't here for this. It's too late." Oh, you talking about Preston? Oh, Preston, okay. Yeah, because yeah, he because he was successful or something like that. I don't know. I'm, mm. Because it sounds like he has sisters, and so him and his sisters, they all have the same father and mother, and. They're, they've been estranged from their father for some time now. So, and they said, he said the family, you know, his father's family didn't want them there. So, I mean, listen, see, Golden, let me help you understand something. I come from a family that will fight at a funeral, at a wedding, at any family gathering, and won't give a shit. Ain't nobody told me nothing. Let me stop. You ever had told moments? me nothing. You had, you had the moments at the funeral, child, somebody busted <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I see I one one funeral it was one funeral I went to and somebody was like I know you ain't gonna I'm like oh lord child they had to hold it get up I'm like child can I just be honest with the whole uh, no, um, not Noel um, Summer and Alex situation Summer Alex told you up front I'm a fuck boy I'm trying to that's all I'm trying to be I'm not trying to be held down I ain't trying to be all of that Summer got her box blown out and you know, couldn't understand it was what it was, girl. It was a good romp in the hay, girl. Going on with life, you probably could have got you another romp in the hay had you handled it correctly. 
Now, my girl. thing is this. My thing is this with Summer. Like, at the end of the day, you told the girl, Oisha, whatever, the, the new girl, like, oh, it's it's fair play. Like, I don't, I, I ain't got nothing for him or whatever. This, that, and the third, you, he's yours. But then when we get to the dinner, it's like you still kind of want him. Right. Like, and you came in, you came in the game so unproblematic, like, I, I'm bothered, like, I don't care, I'm not talking to him, this, that, and the third, but then you complaining that he didn't invite you to stuff. Like, Summer, I'm gonna need you to pick some, pick a struggle, girl. And made a whole thing about not being invited. Girl, made a whole thing and then said, you didn't invite the person you were inside of. Like, I've never heard that in my life. And I promise you, I want to use it again in life. I promise you. I'm going my, to use my that thing again. is this girl, you, you want him, and, and, and that's what it's giving. She it's, do, she wants that. You want him, okay? He must have stroked her pussy something good. I, I can see it. Something good. I can, I can definitely see it. I'm telling you, Alex is going to find his way to fuck Noel, and Mama yeah. is going to be mad. Mama's going to be in her they're feelings. Gonna start beefing. And my thing is this you told yep. me it was okay. You told yep. me I'm you, you was cool with it. So, okay. I can tell you right now. Noel, if you get your back blown out by Alex this summer, and I ain't mad at you if you do, because I'll get my back blown out by him too. I'm just saying. But understand, Summer is gonna feel some kind of way. I think it. Yeah, I mean, looking at the clips, I think they might get into it. Mm. I'm, I'm so glad. Saying. I'm so glad they got a second season. I, I love this group. I, I am. Listen, I, I, I like your last this group. Season. I am here for yeah. all of the foolala with them this season. Let's be very, very, very clear. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out. Let me ask you a question. Who is this chick right here? Because that is Jasmine. That's Bria. That's got to be Jordan. That's um Summer, Shani, and that is um Noel. Who the fuck is this? That's Jordan. Jordan got a little bit that of a don't face look change. like Jordan. That no, don't but, look but like no, Jordan but did you all. see? No, that's Jordan from that because that's the same look that she had in that confessional when she had that bang. It just looked a little too dark to be Jordan to me. No, that is Jordan. That is Jordan. Jordan all I wanted them to do not nah, let's a be clear. Different. I don't know if she got a little nip and tuck or something, but she do look a little different. Let me just say they have some good eye candy in terms of the men, except for Preston. Preston, you can go on and off. But Preston, even he Nick, coming along, he coming along a little right. Bit, you know, if bit. you like the big, if you're into the big guys, Preston is good for you. Preston is good eye candy. Uh -huh. Um, I but I want if they're gonna add one more girl, why not add one more guy? And Silas oh. ain't even here this season, so Ooh. I felt like they needed to add another guy since Silas is not here this season. Hold on one second. I'm just saying. Y'all don't think they needed to add another guy? I just feel that way. Because just having the four guys, and then if you're going to have Preston there, now oh, Harold, come to the Harold, come to the white boy, Harold. All my gay guys, come to the whiteboard. Come to come to the front of the class. All my gay men in the chat. All my gay men, come to the chat. To the front of the, come to the come to the front of the um classroom. Come to the whiteboard. Did y'all hear when they asked Preston if he was top bunk or bottom bunk, and he said he was a side? I was just like, ew. Nobody likes sides. Now that we've we've come in 2024, we've been, you know, brought up to speed on what a side is. We here at the Rainbow Co at the Rainbow Coalition compound down to the um down to the G corridor of the Rainbow Coalition compound. Wait, what I mean? No no energy for people who say they are sides. You give me top bottom verse verse top Verse bottom, something like that. But when you tell me you're a side bitch, go to fuck home. I don't know why you. Oh, you talking about what Preston was talking about? Cause that's what uh, Preston said. He was. He said they said, "Are you top bunk or bottom bunk?" He said, "No, I'm a side." No, bitch. We getting pummeled. Let's be very clear. Let's be clear. You're a bottom. 
who's not dating anybody right now. So you may not be having sex. So you, I guess you're calling yourself a side, but let's be clear. You getting your back blown out, sir. Right. I think is this why they want to give him a love interest. It'd be, you know, that's what, I, and that's where I was going. That's where I was going with this. What is a side? See, go to a side is someone who wants no parts of sex. They don't want oral sex. They don't want anal sex. They don't want any type of traditional something being inserted in your body. They just want to lay with you and cuddle with you. So they call themselves sides mm. because they're laying on their sides. They don't even want oral. Girl, why are you here? Why did you come to my house? Why did not you why, hit me up? Not why I'm here. not here for this fuck shit. Some people don't because I know some people try to explain what that is. They said they don't like the whole bodily fluids going on to you girl I mean, fine sometimes... y'all go over there on the island by yourself and get the fuck away from us regular people but when you having sex with somebody like no they're... preston is not a kappa preston is an alpha let's be clear Ooh. preston and silas are alphas don't try and put him in my organization no you won't no you won't okay <laughs> okay it's not fun, C Gold. It's not. Um, anything else for these girls? I'm look, we're looking forward to this season. We are on our Tuesday nights going to right there, and we're gonna um incorporate yeah. Summer House. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, so we'll be doing Summer House on Tuesday nights. Next week we'll be on Darren's channel. Yeah, that'll be the only show eight. eventually, right? Huh? That'll be the that'll be the only show. We'll yeah, be that'll covering. be the only show after three weeks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Potomac so we go delve into these people much, much deeper. It was the first episode. If you haven't watched the first episode, go watch the first episode, and then you'll be caught up with us next week. We'll do the first part of um the Housewives of Potomac reunion part one. That's probably gonna be the only good part part of the reunion. Because <laughs> um, it's always that way. The first part is always the good part, and then the rest of it is like blah. But then we'll we'll start talking about Summer House. So look forward to that. All right. Oh, Lord. So listen, this happened yesterday or last night, I should say. We Listen, our thoughts and prayers are for the people in Baltimore as they, um, you know, they have people there who, you know, were caught on a bridge. Uh, they did say that the... Um, the, the cargo ship gave a, a mayday out and let the people know that, you know, mayday, mayday, you know, get the people, you know, we, we can't stop the, um, they lost power. We can't stop the, um, ship or whatever. So they, and so they were able to start to thwart traffic, um, somewhat before there, but there were some cars, um, some vehicles, I should say that were still on the bridge when, um, the, um, cargo ship may impact that uh, um, initially a collapse the bridge. There were also some construction workers there that were working on some potholes in the bridge and um, right now they say they have, as of last time I checked there, they had only um, had two people that were recovered. One was in serious condition and one was pretty much unharmed. <clears throat> Um, and, um, I don't know that anybody else has been recovered. They said that the water was at freezing conditions and when the water is at freezing conditions, you can only, you know, escape hypothermia for, you know, a few minutes after a few minutes, um, in freezing waters, hypothermia sets in and then that's kind of it. So yeah. we're praying for, um, Maryland and the Baltimore area. I saw the, the, um, the governor of Baltimore, Wes Moore. On, um, he he gave, but I wasn't looking for the governor of Baltimore. He's cute now. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to see the um. I mean, I saw the governor of Maryland. I should say, on, on um television, and he's cute, and I love him to death. But I wanted to see the mayor of Baltimore. <laughs> he's more my speed, honey. He a little slim, little cute, little something with a little afro or something. I just wanted him to come on my television Eddie, I need you to and stop. tell me everything was going to be okay. You I said the mayor of Baltimore. Let me look at him. Let me see. Listen, I just needed him to come on screen and tell me everything was going to be okay. And I would have felt a little better with his, with his afro and stuff. You talking about Brandon Scott? Yeah, with the afro, you see him? Oh, we, we, we ain't there yet. Did we? Ain't oh, yeah, that was the dude that was talking. No, they had Wes Moore. We ain't dead to you yet, Diddy God. We got to you yet. Keep trying to come up. Um, Wait, oh. Pfft. 
Lord, we gonna get to you, Diddy. Don't, don't, don't rush this. Trust me, bro. It's enough time. So who the guy that was talking to the people? Because he was in like sweats and stuff. That might have been Brandon. That might have been Brandon Scott. I, I that's who he's I not the mayor. Him. He's the mayor of Baltimore, but the governor of Maryland is Wes Moore. That's oh. who I saw on the national channels. It's like MSNBC and NBC, CBS. You know. ABC and Fox. That's who I oh, saw. He all right. He all right. But who I needed was Brandon. Brandon Scott. Stop it. So he can give me what I need. Let me know. Everything's going to be all right. No, he Man. told them interviews. He said, we don't even need to be talking about that right now. Like people are, people are trying to get people out the water. I was right. like, oh, okay. He's taking charge. Everything going to be all right. Shout out to the mayor of Baltimore, Brandon Scott. Okay, give him a little bomb. <laughs> give him a bomb. But no, seriously, though, we are praying for the people. Our thoughts mm-hmm. and prayers are definite. Because anytime something like this happened, even if you weren't there, if that's your area, that's your community, it affects you. It, it definitely affects you. And so um, mm-hmm. certainly our thoughts and prayers. If you're in that area, you know, uh, we are praying with you and for you. Um, those people, if you know anybody that was affected, certainly we're praying with you and for you. Top story of the day, as it was yesterday, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whew. It's a lot going on. No diddy. It's it's a lot going on. <laughs> Listen, I am, Terry. I am just disgusted. Well, technically, we technically haven't got the detailed information or why they went. Now, we don't got video. Did you see the video that came out this afternoon where they showed the aftermath of when the people came? Oh, yeah. The, the, um, yeah. Well, came, like they, the they had a whole the, video. They pulled out the TV and shit. I was like, child, Man. they did. Um, uh, they, 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 they. they they fucked up that house, both houses, mm-hmm. the LA house and the Miami house. And I'm sure they did the same thing to the New York house. Now, there was a lot going on yesterday. We reported on this yesterday. People were saying, oh, Diddy is trying to get away to the Caribbean because they saw his flight to, and I mean, his plane in Antigua and stuff like that. He wasn't even on that plane. He was still down to um, the great um, state of Miami Dade. He was in the city of Opalaka in the state of Miami Dade. Hmm. And um, he was down there, and they got him, and um, he went down there. And had to, um, they say you know they have video of him pacing up and down. Now they say um, Christian and Justin then got released. Oh, they did. Yeah, they 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 did get released. Nobody's been arrested. But let me help you understand something, uh, Diddy. If they came and they raided your house, every you know, you know how you said on the song, every step I take, mm-hmm. every move I make. You know, they're they're watching you every step you take, every move you make, every you know, anything you do, somebody's on you. There's there's and, gonna be and, video for each other. And let me just say this, okay? Mm-hmm. For the Breakfast Club, Charmaine, just unhilarious DJ Envy, bitch ass. For y'all to sit there and have that take that tired ass take that y'all had saying that they didn't find nothing or they're doing this just for a show. Like, that doesn't even make sense. The fans don't go into no place and say, oh, we just doing this for a show. That doesn't make sense. How much money that costs to do all that shit? They fucked up your shit. And and if if they did that wrongfully, you know he can get to Right. And the thing about it is... Even just to pay all of those people that had to go in there and do that, they had those people were had to get extra pay for that. Come on, like I, no, when I heard them say this, go like, rating okay. people just for show. Diddy ain't that right. important for them to just be doing this for show. My thing is this: when I looked at that, I was like, okay, y'all definitely getting paid by Playboy Entertainment somehow. So somebody told y'all to say that because at the end, because then y'all was flipping the news around because y'all said, Oh, well, see, TMZ reported that he was trying to escape, but then they seen him just pacing around. I'm like, No, he pacing around because the nigga is scared. Okay, he knows what's coming. Let's be very clear. And 
it's it's girl it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess listen they talking about i mean at least the sons got released diddy never got arrested they said rod rodney um whatever his name is jones they said he got he added cuba good jr to his um lawsuit they said this is in conjunction with not only the stuff that cassie put out but that the other three female assailants as well um three mm -hmm. female victims as well as that one male victim not including rodney j um uh, rodney jones but there was another male victim they looking into all of it G girl why one of the <laughs> one of the neighbors <laughs> listen it don't got so serious one of Diddy's neighbors. First of all, they said Diddy had no idea this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. They said he was getting ready to take his kids who were on spring break down to the Caribbean for spring break so they could hang out and, and, and play around down to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. But And he had no idea this was coming. So if he had no idea this was coming, that means he ain't, which sounds to me like they said, he ain't hide nothing. He <laughs> ain't, you know, put nothing away. And it, it makes sense because people like Diddy, who feel like they don't got away with some shit, have a certain level of hubris about them. <clears throat> and when you have a certain level of hubris about you, and you feel like you can't get your, you can always get away unscathed and shit. That shit don't last for long, and you get sloppy, and then you know you don't put shit away that you don't. You're not supposed to put out. So when they came and raided him and hit, if he was not prepared, they probably got a lot of shit. Now here we got because I see somebody in the comments now. They saying, "Oh, they getting Jay Z too. They gonna get Jay Z too." My thing is, what Jay Z do? We ain't heard nothing about Jay Z. Come on now, we we. Hey Tamel. Oh Tamel, how you doing? Not okay. Um, uh, <laughs> girl. Hey Faye. Hmm. But my thing, yeah, because we ain't heard nothing about Jay Z. Jay Z's name has not been on the block. I'm just saying. Always keep souvenirs. He better not be no damn Dom or have all them damn pictures and all the stuff that he done did. Listen, the neighbor, listen, Diddy's neighbor that came out and started saying, yeah. Let me give you the exact quote that the neighbor Ooh. who lived across from Diddy said. Quote, I've seen black suburbans, Uber drivers, private drivers between the time of 1 to 3 a.m., sometimes earlier, sometimes later. But I've seen girls get out of the car in swimsuits, swimwear, and bathing suits sometimes. End of quote. Basically, what he's saying is, mm -hmm, yeah, it's a lot of women down there. If y'all look for, um, you know, sex trafficking or human trafficking that's the place to look he also said uh, um you, you come here in beverly hills on a tuesday night there's a party going on from 2 a.m to 5 a.m it's not really unexpected end of quote and that's the neighbor over there in um beverly hills yeah yeah yeah. there was a report or not a report but there was somebody that it's a male brought it up it's, uh that he allegedly murked his mistress that had a child that was having a child by him you know you know and also um who was that was that my boy um what you call it that said they blew up the car in front of his house because they thought he might be in there um Ooh. oh god um oh it's gonna come to me his name shit now nah, i'll send you the car facts <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't think of his name. Uh, um, even was Warner Claudia Jordan because my auntie name is being mentioned. Oh, hold on, wait. Kid Capri, um, Kid Cuddy. That's what it is. Kid Cuddy. Yeah, that was that was with um Kid Cuddy. Yeah, Kid Cuddy. Cuddy. Thank you, Desiree. Kid oh, Cuddy. Damn. Kid Cuddy. Mm -hmm. And even problem. Cassie alluded to that in her lawsuit. Mm -hmm. So we know he goes around. Like he's some mafia or mob boss, you know, taking people out and shit. But your day has come. Diddy's day with destiny has come. Yep. Sir, 
You really thought you were going to get away all these years unscathed. And that be the thing. You don't got away decades and decades and decades unscathed. Thinking, oh, child, if they was going to get me, they was going to, they would have already got me. Good, they got you. Not good. 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 And it really all started because of Cassie. Like Cassie, need, yep. even though she ended up settling, she yep. did what she did was start the ball rolling. Yep. And she got other people to say, oh, I ain't the only one. Oh, let me go ahead and tell my story. And that's all it takes that one person to come out and say, yeah, this happened to me. And all the other people start to come out the woodwork. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. Sir, I don't know what to tell you, but even more damning than that, let me tell you what's even more damning than that, baby, baby, when I saw this part, baby, baby, baby shark, doop, do 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 they got your mule, oh yes, they got the dude that carries around all your drugs and shit like that, let me read you this from TMZ. Diddy's alleged mule, as described in a recent lawsuit, was arrested Monday while Diddy and his crew were stopped by federal law enforcement agents. TNZ, TMZ has confirmed, according to the affidavit obtained by TMZ, 25-year-old Brendan Hall was booked on two separate drug charges after the feds intercepted Diddy's plane at, an, at the Opelika Airport in Miami. Namely, one count of possession of suspected cocaine and another of possession of suspected marijuana candy, both of which are felonies in Florida. In the paperwork, officers claim that while they were working in conjunction with Homeland Security and Customs and Border Pro Protection personnel, they came across what they described as the suspected drugs in Paul's travel bags, which they say he claimed. The cops go on to say that the that the suspected narcotics were tested and found to be legit, leading to Paul's arrest. He was booked into jail, but has since bailed, but has since bailed out. Paul was named in Rodney Jones's explosive complaint against Diddy, which identified him as a close confidant of Diddy's and more importantly, as someone who allegedly handled Diddy's drugs and guns. There are photos of Paul with Diddy included in did in Rodney's lawsuit. Listen, now he's not there. dealing. He just he he. That's his supplier. But no, 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 that ain't even the supplier. That's just the guy who hold all the shit. He's the mule. He comes on the trip. Okay, his so only so job. School me on the mule. What, what does the mule do? Shit. Huh? School me on what the mule does. The mule's only job is to hold the drugs. They act like an actual mule. You know. When you have a mule, a mule holds all your cargo or whatever. If you're traveling from old school style from city to city, they will pack stuff on a mule. Mm. And that they will put, you know, they would, you know, have it on each, they would have it a bag on this side and the bag on this side. And they would have a rope in between and it would sit on the back of the mule and they would ride that mule and that mule will carry the person and whatever it was they were bringing to that next city. So that's what he is. His whole job is to carry the drugs, guns, or anything else that's illegal. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that he was bailed out. Because please be clear, Diddy's people bailed his ass out real fast. Real fast. He got up out of there for the he can Why? Even because if his ass stayed in there any type of time, he was going to start, um, um, you know, really? whistling Dixie. And he looked like he was doing some of the stuff, child. They say he like so in his movies, looking they like they found. Listen, and even if you, yeah. even if you bailed him out, and he said, "Oh, those were mine," it was still on your plane. Not hiding drugs in your moochie. You. Not hide, not Tamil said hiding drugs in your moochie. Child, they do that. They do hide drugs in the moochie. Shout out to the moochies out there. What My is the mooch? My moochie stays tight and right, so I can't hide nothing up in there because it stays tight and right. Oh, Some you of mean these there. Loose girls? Like Some it. of these loose girls. Not these loose. 
Girl, imagine if that damn bag broke. Oh my goodness, because you can. I'm get, not blind to mail, price. but what happens is I have to switch and look at the article that I was reading. I'm not blind to mail. I, I have to switch back and forth between the chat and the actual article. I apologize, sir, that I'm switching back and forth. I'm just I'm saying. Pretty blind. <laughs> Y'all to say, y'all to say, now nah, I gotta sing up the booty shoot, mm, the booty shoot, take it up the booty shoot, oh the booty shoot, yeah they be taking it up the booty shoot. Mm. Mm. Listen, this does not bode well for you because now there's drugs involved. Yeah, they were on your plane. I don't care if he said, oh those was mine, that one did these, those were mine. It was on your plane. And it's a private jet. Now, I don't know what happens in terms of TSA and what the TSA protocol is with private jets as opposed to commercial airliners, but it was on your plane. That's your plane. If I'm not mistaken, isn't he still responsible for what goes on his plane? I'm not a lawyer. I will refer you to Pam the Law Intellect and all of the other great lawyers on YouTube. Pam the Law Intellect first. <laughs> but uh, I assume that if you have a private jet and they find drugs on their private jet, e jet, even though somebody says, oh, that's my bag, that's not theirs, there's still some culpability for you because you own the jet. I'm just I, I I I'm just saying. You saying that the 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 recent baby mother is head head of homeland security. Hold on, let's look that up. So, I, I mean, it's a mess, a whole mess. Diddy, your day with destiny is here, bro. You, bro, you are going down. The drug mule swallows the drugs or stores them in a moochie cat. You know, but I understand that, Harold, but he didn't have no reason to do that if he's on the plane. In his case, he was just the person that holds the drugs. He's not trying to get the drugs delivered from Colombia back to the U.S. Bruh simply had the bag. He's the duffel bag boy at this point. Hmm. He's the duffel bag boy. Diddy's day with destiny, child. Oh, God. Diddy's day with destiny. <laughs> Diddy, I don't know what to tell you. I really want the feds to come out and tell us what uh, what they done found or what the reason why they raided you. I need to see an indictment come across um, somebody's desk. So I'm saying... Not just saying. Yeah, I, I I need to see an indictment. I need to see some charges. I need to see what exactly y'all rated them for. Since nobody got arrested, nobody's you know, except for this guy who's now out on bail. They said there was going to be a warrant for Diddy's arrest in a couple of days. I mean, is you know once they get there. who said that? That's what um. I think I saw that in some news, uh, ET, ET news. Oh, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just, you know, just trying to say, uh, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, it so we can have a organization that said that. But see, the thing about it is, though, it might not go like now. If we don't find why they did this raid, like if they like, did y'all find the evidence? Y'all going to withhold? I mean, come on, what's going on? They made a response because I actually posted it on my, my, you know, I'll be on Instagram doing my little blogging. Um, let me see. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, Homeland Se Homeland Security said earlier today, Homeland Security investigations in New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation. Uh, we will provide further information when it becomes available. But my thing is, it's like, girl, y'all y'all couldn't give us a little sneak preview of what's going to be available. I envision that you don't go and raid people's homes in three different states without mm -hmm. having credible evidence. 
I just want y'all to tell us what it is. Mm -hmm. Now, it may be a situation where they don't want to say it because they don't want Diddy to go and hide certain things. They said they took his phone away from him as well and took evidence from his phone, including all of the stuff that they found at the house or the houses, plural. Baby, I don't know. What I do know is when they find drugs on your plane, that's not a good look. Just gonna put that out there. Well, that's why the plane not here no more. But see, they they did say um, America has like jurisdiction in, in Antigua, Ant, Antigua, mm. and they can, if he was to go over there, they can. Well, arrest him. to be clear, they, I don't know who was on that plane in Antigua. I don't know. Maybe they was going over there to hide something or to throw something away or get rid of some evidence. But if he ain't have no idea that they were coming, why would they be, you know, on their way to Antigua? But that they say he wasn't on that plane. That was over going to Antigua. He was on a he was already in Miami and they were gonna use a different plane. Mm. The man has a lot of money. He's a billionaire with a B. So he has a lot of money. So I expect that he can, you know he has resources to do whatever he needs to do. My thing about it is if y'all gonna do all of this and you know this man is a billionaire with a B and has limit all damn near limitless resources, he could probably you know ditch you know, skip, skip town, skip the country, and you know, go. I, well, don't go to go over there to Bali with um with Russell Simmons because we, we reported yesterday Bali is not the safest place. They'll still get you even if you're in Bali, so mm -hmm. that ain't the place to go. But you might want to find you some on you know some island or down in the South Pacific or somewhere where they can't find you, and you can go live down there. Some better go to Acon City. Just saying. Diddy, I don't know what to tell you, sir. You know how we say around these parts. Go with God. We have nothing else. For you. <laughs> Not go with God. <laughs> go with God. So, escaping SWV um, um, uh, announced that they are going on tour. Now, the people are saying, we don't just think y'all going on tour. We think y'all have a season two of, you know, y'all show. But they ain't announced no season two or no show. All they announced is the fact that they're going on tour and both um, will be headlining. What they was that thing with Mona? I don't know. I saw that with Mona. Uh, apparently, that I guess that was for the tour. The people say they don't believe that. That was only for the tour. That's why the people said, mm -mm, we don't believe I that. I think it's if y'all doing the tour, y'all making new music or something? Because, like, girl, we don't be want to listen to the same thing. Going to the tour for the I'm time okay game. with them going on tour. They have enough hits to where if they go on tour, we'll go on and watch them on tour. Both groups have enough hits to where they can go on tour again, and we're, we're here for it. I guess so. Okay. That's not the only song now. I know that's not the only song, but I'm just saying, like... Now, some of the other people that's on tour with them, like Maya Girl, you got two songs, Case of the X and um, Take Me There. That's my only two songs that I want to hear from Maya. Case of the X and Take Um I we ain't deaf for you yet. Um um Halley, Hell, but um Hellberry. Maya got two songs for me. Case of the X and Take Me That Wanna Go There. Take Me That Wanna Go There. Take Me to That Place. That's the only two songs. That and Case of the X. Total, I'm okay with Total got some songs. It's all about me, I guess. I guess I can hear that too, Desiree. Um, Total got some songs. 702. Didn't one of they main didn't one of they singers die just recently? Didn't one of the girls from 702 die? How are y'all touring? And one of the girls just died. I'm just saying. Child Maya ain't got no catalog like that. Y'all out here uh, talking like Maya got a catalog. The woman ain't got no catalog like that. She got a couple songs, and she's only good for yin 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 around the house. You can't name me more than five songs from Maya. I promise you. Not a catalog, honey. Five songs does not make a, a catalog. I'm just saying. The difference between 702 and TLC is 
your left eye never sang lead on anything. Left eye did the rapping and left eye sang harmony. They can put left eye part on the on the little videotron and have that little rap part go on the videotron. She wasn't doing none of the main singing. If I'm not mistaken, one of the girls that the girl that died from 702 did some of the main singing. And 702 only got like two or three hits. I mean, girl. If we go into the show, we going for SWV and Escape. We are not going. Um, we are not going for seven hundred two. We're not going for Total, and we're not going for uh, Maya. Now, did Pam say she's coming back to Total? Because I thought Pam was saved, baptized, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and the mighty burning fire. And wasn't doing, um, you know, secular music no more. Can somebody go and confirm? I thought Pam said she wasn't doing secular music no more. She saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and the mighty burning fire. She over there leading the choir down to the, uh, you know, down in the choir stand. And why is Latasha not on here, y'all? So Latasha not invited on the tour? I'm just saying, Latasha, Tasha. Tasha, you know that damn cabbage pack wasn't gonna be on there. Yeah. You still over there, um, uh, you know, hoping on your um uh, gospel album down there. You still waiting on your gospel album to you know pull some numbers. She ain't she when they be. say she need Pam to return to, with the stud energy. Pam was a whole ass stud, <laughs> she was a whole ass stud back in the day. Girl, she had a whole baby. She had various sizes of strap on. She had the six inch, the eight inch, the ten inch, and the twelve inch strap on, whichever you needed. Not the strap on, honey. I, I, child, child, you better know who Pam is <laughs> from back in the late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, I mean, we we like I said, we're here for SWV, and we're here for Escape. But the mother chicks that y'all got on tour with y'all, girl, girl, y'all can say them, I guess. But we're going to be here for it regardless. Listen, y'all going on and, um, you know, saying, 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 girl. Listen, Coco is the best singer on this whole thing. Let's be clear. Coco by herself will flat foot it out sing everybody. In all of the groups put together. Let's, let's just be brutally honest. It's Coco and everybody else. <laughs> I'm here for Coco. That's all I'm here for. Coco. I mean, uh, Tamika and Candy and, and Tiny. I damn, Tiny can't sing to me. Y'all could have that whole. Anyway, but I mean, Candy, you're going to try and sing a little high note here. Then you're going to sing the low note too. Tamika be trying to hold down Latasha parts, but hmm. none of y'all can. It's even in the same stratosphere as Coco. It's Coco and everybody. I'm here for Coco and and the rest of y'all. I don't really care. I'm just saying. Uh, we're moving on. Go with God. So Hail Mary, girl. Keep your seatbelt handy, Darren. Darren, wait, did you hear this story, Darren? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, her doctor? Harold Berry with her doctor. Oh my God. Who said that she had the worst case of herpes ever, but misdiagnosed her. Girl. Girl, let me try to be serious and read this. Come on. Halle Berry spoke candidly about her experience with menopause and women's health with First Lady Dr. Jill Biden during Popper Daly's fourth A, A Day with Unreasonable Conversation Summit on Monday. In doing so, she recalled the doctor misdiagnosing her with, quote, the worst case of herpes, quote, end quote, they had ever seen. Here's what she said. First of all, my ego told me that I was going to skip perimenopause. 
I'm in great shape. I'm healthy. I managed to get myself off of insulin and manage my diabetes since I'm 20 years old. So that makes one think, oh, I can handle menopause. I'm going to skip the whole thing. I was so uneducated about it, about it at, at the time. I feel like I have razor blades in my vagina. I run to my gynecologist and I say, oh, my God, what's happening? It was terrible. He said, quote, you have the worst case of herpes I've ever seen. End quote. I'm like, herpes? I don't have herpes. End of quote. <laughs> First of all, I need you to put a name on this, Hallie. And, and then don't they have specific tests for that, though? Like, Why? Like, if you think she got the herpes. Aren't you supposed to put a do some type of testing? And then I need you to put a name on this. Um, hell, Barry. Yeah, hell, Barry. A blood test. So we know never to go to this doctor again in life. I don't need you to just say. I need you to let us know who the fuck this doctor is, because I'm over here with menopause, and this bitch telling me I got the herpes, like I'm ushering some shit. <laughs> Like, girl, not that we over here singing an old song from the group Climax, the men are pause. <laughs> <laughs> I really used to think that song said menopause instead of men all pause. Because <laughs> I, I was a little boy when that came out. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, how do you misdiagnose that? The level of malpractice, you know, medical malpractice here. You didn't sue him for medical malpractice, Hail Mary. I'm just saying. Hail Mary. You didn't sue the man for medical malpractice. It's child. It, it like it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense. I, I actually did see that, and I was just like, what the hell going on over there? That's why we need the name of this doctor. Yeah. So women across America know never to go to this doctor again in life. Listen, uh, our last story, ladies and gentlemen, non-binary gender-conforming members of our audience, this last story is a part of our Sugar Spike segment. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! You see, this is the part that I like. Major sugar spike. So now, oh, I want to fight. Daddy gave, who gave, who gave, who gave. It's only we got ten times. Major sugar spike. And who, 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 Jesus! How much you to help me? Jesus! <laughs> so this now again, uh, James, may he rest in peace. So this last story is um about this whore right here. God help us. So that is Rana romney mcdaniels whatever she want to go by today some days she go by romney as her last name some days she go by mcdaniels she's the former head of the rnc when donald trump not not um only was president but just recently got fired um a few weeks ago when donald trump said that one of his you know family members needed to be head of the rnc anyway nbc hired this whore who was counter to everything NBC is about and means. And so everybody on NBC, Chuck Todd, um, Joe Scarborough, and Mika Brzezinski, even Jory Reed got into it. Rachel Maddow did a whole 30 minutes um, on this last night on her broadcast about how horrible it was. So when everybody, when all of the major members of NBC came out here and said the bitch ain't shit. Hey, Adarlis. Um, Now NBC says, oh, well, we don't think we're going to hire her anymore. That bitch said, oh, really? 
bitch, I'm going to hire some lawyers and said that you got into an agreement with me and told me you was going to hire me. And now you just because these bitches say they don't want me there, you ain't going to hire me no more. I'm suing NBC. Oh, that's the, I don't feel bad for the people down to the NBC. This is what you get because y'all always try to do this game where y'all try to get these people. Oh, we don't want to be seen as the left as, as, as the, um, you know, the broadcasting company that's more leftist. We want to be seen as, you know, you know, neutral. No, bitch, you are who you are because Fox News makes no bones about it. The most are right, right, and always right. If that is who you are, live in your truth, okay? But now this horse said, oh, you thought it was a game? Bitch, I'm suing NBC and probably will get paid. <laughs> and I don't feel bad for her. They thought nobody was going to say nothing. They thought everybody was going to be quiet about it. Now, I'm glad Joy Reid waited till all of the white people got their ass in the fire and spoke out against her. And then she said, I'm going to speak out for her. Um, uh, um, uh, as well, because had Joy Reid came out first, please believe they would have let Joy Reid black ass go. Please believe that. Mm -hmm. yeah. This the like, same lady that said that Donald Trump, um, that Joe Biden stole the election. That's who y'all hired. A lady who was saying and putting out there that Joe Biden stole the election. Who said that there was nothing wrong with January 6th? This is who y'all hired. I'm not, Darren, I'm trying to make it make sense. You can't. A bitch can't. A bitch just can't. Hashtag ABC. Can I get some hashtag ABCs in the chat? A bitch just can't. Anyway, that was our last story of the day. Listen, Darren, I had a good time here with you today. Yes, I did too. A good time was had by all. We've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And, um, I will gladly have you over again sometime. I'll, I'll gladly have you over again sometime. Tell the people where to find you and how um what you got going on and how to um you already know you can find me at Darren Green Show on YouTube, child. They trying to blackball the bitch. Okay, they got me shadow banned and a motherfucker. Okay. Um be be sure to follow me here at uh YouTube at the Darren Green Show, Darren Green TikTok, and Darren at Darren Green Show on Instagram. You know you can find me, child. Just came out with a podcast episode. Okay, check it out. Y'all go check out Darren. Darren does great shit over there. Great, mm -hmm. great shit over there. Y'all know what I got going on. We'll be back tomorrow with all of the usuals. The usual. The we'll huge. be back tomorrow with everything. Um, as y'all put some Shondos in the chat before we get out of here. A bitch just damn came. <laughs> Not hashtag ABJDC. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Arrow, you ain't shit. Anyway. Um, Tracy just put Darren's um Darren's link in the chat for you to go and subscribe Ooh, thank to the channel. Come on. Um, as I always say, I love y'all. I love on y'all. Thank you all for being vocal present and active. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for any and all contributions that you make to the channel. They are much obliged and much appreciated. Listen, I appreciate y'all for everything that y'all do. Yana, I found out I'm coming to Louisville um uh, second weekend of April. Mark your calendar, Yana. I will be in Louisville on the 13th of April. So I'll keep you posted on that, Yana. Anyway, listen, y'all, we about to get out of here. Um, that's all we got. I'm going to go get me something to eat and watch some more uh, and finish watching Shirley. I'm I'm halfway yeah. through. There it just started. I, I just started. I'm about to watch it when I get off this thing right now. So we about to go finish watching Shirley. So mm -hmm. um, that's all we got for y'all. Until next time, thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely. We are out of here. Bye. Bye.